Is that your Captain Morgan post? So we were matching an overall wall height on this one. Because um, I'm, I'm in the existing spot. And we needed to match the wall height. So it turns out that I could not use pre-cut studs because it didn't work out for our wall height. It, was, it would have been too short. And so Alex came up with this jig where we have a positive stop positive stop so he he screwed all that in it's screwed to the saw so we have exactly the right spot uh, to cut so that was a good move on his part Well, it's a wrap on day one of framing at the Lakeside Oasis, which actually was more like a half a day of actual framing, a little half day or less. We ended up squaring everything up, uh, getting all the materials set up here. And then I ended up doing a soil test for down the road at another project that we're starting um, after this one. And we had to finish up a few things at that garage too. So the exterior wall framing here at the Lakeside Oasis is done. That didn't take us very long. Uh, we showed up on Monday morning, uh, started cutting our studs to length, and by Wednesday, 2.30, 3 o'clock, something like that, we were done, um, including the sheeting. And if you hadn't seen this before, I wanted to show you this. This is a Zip R system. Uh, so it's, it's the Zip system that I like to use because then I don't have to use house wrap. Uh, it's 7 sixteenths of sheeting OSB and then on this one it's an R6 foam board that's already pre-attached to this. I think it's a really cool system just for this for the thermal break um, so it prevents thermal bridging so if you didn't know what thermal bridging was here's a good spot to show you. Um, so thermal bridging is the cold or warmth will try to get into your wall system from the outside let's say it's I don't know, 30 degrees outside, it's 70 degrees inside. So there's this problem where the cold wants to move in. Thermal bridging is when you have a solid surface like the OSB and it's directly onto the stud. <clears throat> and then on the inside, you have drywall directly attached to the stud. And so this, this insulation will stop or hinder that from happening. But now with some of these new products like the Zip R, I'm able to create a thermal break so that I don't have that issue anymore. And this stops the cold right away or the warmth from going from outside to inside. What we will end up doing here is we'll be able to put uh, two or three inches of spray foam in between the studs here and then you oh, but we already have one inch and so in theory we should be able to go with less spray foam uh, two and a half inches let's say two and a half inches because that would be roughly r7 per inch so you're at 18 r18 or something plus the six is going to give you roughly r24 and we're not affiliated with this at all. I just have noticed that I enjoy working with this and it seems to be a great system.